Joining me now is Courtney Patterson, cornerback from Trinity Catholic in Ocala, Florida, class of 2025. What's going on, brother? How you doing? I'm doing good, you know, just trying to keep on grinding, make sure everything, I stay on top of everything so I can do the best that I can. All right, brother. Uh, good to see you again, first off. Uh, why don't you update everybody on your current height and weight since some of them aren't so quote-unquote accurate as you and I were talking about off air, what, what is your current height and weight right now? Okay, I'm six foot, 175, 174. Okay. Uh, there's been a few discrepancies that I've seen online. I'll leave it at that. But uh, I just wanted everybody to know that uh, you've gained quite a bit of weight since uh, a few of these services have put your name onto their website. So um, you, you've been a pretty good defensive back for quite a while. I've known about you for over a year. I've seen you play. What is it that you like about playing in the secondary in general and, and cornerback overall? Um, I just feel like cat on cat, you can't blame nobody. So, like, just being one-on-one -on -one and just being able to be on that island by yourself and doing what you need to do and make sure, make, basically making sure the other man doesn't beat you. There you go. And Nothing also, like I, like, I like to take a little control now, like a little bit of – a lot of leadership come in place with that also being okay. one of a lockdown corner, as I would say. All right. Do you prefer man or do you prefer zone or does it really matter to you? It doesn't matter, but you put me in man. I'm not losing that, that, that battle. I'm not losing a battle. Okay. I, I used to couldn't play zone very well, but I got really good at zone just being able to, I just I got better at zone because I learned everybody's position and learned where everybody's going to be at, where your helps come from. So it doesn't matter to me. I'm all around. OK. Switching gears a little bit. Trinity Catholic is a very competitive program. You guys take on a lot of schools around the state. What's it like playing at Trinity, knowing that each week you're going to be going up against somebody that's a really good football player? Um, Really just the way. The way we operate things at Trinity, everything is more of organized situations and like we gonna make sure that we get get a great game plan for the opponent that we have that week or whatever. And Coach John give a great um heads up to Coach John Brantley, Coach Young, Coach Bidem, Coach Snowden, all of them they, they make a they do a pretty good job with getting us a great game plan. Oh, that's important, man. Florida football, as you well know, is uh, very competitive. So those little details, that often decides who comes out on top on a Friday night. So absolutely. Yes, um, let's switch gears to recruiting a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. I know you've got UCF, USF, West Virginia, Liberty, and some other schools. Oregon State. Oregon State. Um, how's recruiting coming, and what are you trying to do to get some more offers? Um. Recruiting, I wouldn't – I would say I'm blessed with recruiting, but I feel like I'm not getting the the recruiting – the recruitment that I feel like I deserve. So I just I just don't think about it like that. When my time comes, it comes. But also I just feel like down where I'm at, where I live at in Ocala, we don't get as much exposure like as Orlando's – Orlando oh, school kind of would. Close. Yeah, it's not even close. <laughs> it's definitely yeah. not even close. Are you going to a bunch of camps? Or are you going to do workouts? What are you trying to do to improve your stock? Um, I'm trying to do a little bit of both of that because at the end of the day, when your time comes, everybody's going to come find you. Um, so I'm going to try to squeeze some camps in there and also just try to train as much as possible so I can be prepared for this upcoming season. Because everybody, everybody's not a – Anybody can be a camp player, but not everybody's a, a Friday night, Saturday night type of guy. That is a very sage piece of advice to talk about right there, because some guys are camp guys, but they don't tackle well and they're not physical enough to really be a power five football player. Yes, sir. Um, I know you told me off air that like uh, Florida, Florida State, Miami are all possible camp destinations, Georgia, et cetera. So yes, good sir. luck with all those, because I know that's, Traveling and getting to some of these places, South Carolina too. Like it's, 
it takes a lot out of you, and it, it's a lot of money to get there and get your name out. So good luck with yeah. that. Yeah, a couple of the schools though, they're they're offering to like trying to help me get out there, so like I won't have to spend as much money as possible. And also, thanks to my give a good shout out to my linemen that I have, Janari Carr and Jared Gordon. They're also doing big things with me as well. So we try to stick together as much as possible to travel to, to these places. Well, there you go. That, that's what it's all about, brother. You got to have as much communication with it, your buddies as possible. Save some money, hotels and all that stuff. That matters. So yeah. absolutely. Um, what do you think you do best on the field and why, why do you think that should help you be recruited? Um, I feel like I really like I I read the field really well. Like I can read the offense. I kind of give a lot of different uh, looks on on defense. So like it won't be just like so gullible of what we're doing and what we have going on and just stuff like that. But like like I was like you were saying, man or zone. Just really being able to play both. Not everybody can play both. So. Well, that is a very, very important thing. A lot of kids come out of Florida are just man corners. Yeah, and also, and also, like, like you said, Friday nights, I, I know how to come up and tackle and make a play. Yeah, if you can't do that, you ain't gonna play very long in Power Five. You're, exactly. You'll be done real quick. They, they will get rid of you really quick. So. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. One last thing, with all the recruiting stuff and that aside. Like, what do you think you need to work on the most to improve your game between now and the time you leave the high school ranks? I mean, you got two years, so there's mm -hmm. plenty of time, but what do you need to work on the most? Um, I have talked to actually Alabama about this same thing. Um, my eyes and just getting faster and quicker. This off this off season, I have been doing them things, working on them things, just getting my stamina up, my eyes, being more disciplined in my in my reps and just not being lazy in my reps. Okay. Well, man, I appreciate it. I'm sure I'll see you pretty soon next time I stop by Trinity, but uh, until then, Godspeed and good luck. I appreciate yes, it. All right, oh, and also, also I will be, um, I'll be in LA at USC and I might be also hitting up UCLA. I'll be in LA for a uh, seven on seven. Are you going to OT seven? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, that's a great event, man. Good way to get some comp. No doubt about it. Yeah. All right, buddy. I appreciate yeah. it, sir. You have a great yes, one. Sir. You too. Take care.